everybody. Welcome back to JTML 9681's LPs. I'm your host, JTML 9681, and we are on part two of Kid Icarus for the Nintendo Entertainment System. All right. We start off with the mono eyes. Ah, boo! One dash two and mono eyes. Still in the underworld. I made a mistake the last time when I exited the uh, level. I was supposed to have 20,000 points. I was thinking for some reason I only needed 10,000 for the first health upgrade. Also, the last time I went to the treasure chamber, when I had to restart two times, I no longer have the credit card, I have the barrel, which can hold up to eight bottles of life, instead of you just normally holding one bottle of life. So it's pretty useful. This first door, grab that chalice. This first door is a specto's nest. Ooh, took that hit, but. All right. That was close. Hold on, folks. Sorry about that. I had to do something. Whoops. Hold on. I needed to set up the B and A buttons for the second controller. And I set them up on the first controller on accident. So I had to fix it back.
Because every time you miss with an arrow, I think it takes 10 points away from your skill. This is the black market. What do you say? Try buying from me. And he's kind of like bald. That's how you can tell there's a black market, plus everything is like so overpriced. Don't want to buy anything just yet, though. Because having a lot of hearts, like at least 850, I think, I'll put it up on the screen, for um, getting your strength upgrade, which that will, the arrow power upgrade, which will come into th in this um, level in stage one, at the end of stage 1-2. And that Reaper cannot see me from here. So duck there. Spectre's Nest! I can't believe I took that hit like that. Almost dead, I gotta be careful here. Do not press down when you're on ice, you will fall right through it. It's nice for a quick escape, but it really sucks when you're not trying to do that and you accidentally duck. thinking he would drop down like that. <sighs> I'll be back. Oh, 
Okay, we're back. Now this door contains the very first regular shop in the game. May I help you? We have everything. That's how you know this is a regular shop. Now, I still don't want to buy anything right now. We don't necessarily need to. But I'm going to save state here. Because I want to show you something. Depending on your strength arrow. Like right now, I only have one. Where it says stage 1-1, one -one, or 1-2, one I mean. If the first number is lower than how many strength arrows you have, you'll be able to haggle with the regular shop owner. But if not, this is what happens. By pressing B and A on the second controller. Go on, who do you think I am? And then they'll jack the prices up. Well, actually, I don't know why I even save stated. I don't, because I'm not even going to buy anything anyway. But the if you have the credit card, that will not work here. But keep in mind of what you can do to haggle. Now, there's only one more door left, and that is the, um, where you get your, um, strength arrow from Zeus. If you have enough skill points. Why do they have the skill points invisible? I don't know. That's kind of stupid if you ask me. So that's why I've been racking up on killing, destroying these enemies, and gathering the hearts. And also trying not to get hit, but... Now, I forget when the Magoo start coming up. Like one more hit and I'm dead again. Don't want that to happen. I'm not even really going to worry about killing him. I'm just going to hop over him. Yeah. Just like that. There are the Magoos.
Why does this always happen to me when I play this game? I'll be back! Alright, folks, I'm back. There's the commie loose. Glad you came. Pit, here, take this. <laughs> Typo! But this is the bronze arrow, I believe. Who just went right past him? All right. All right, folks. Well, that's going to be it for this part. Underworld Stage 1-2 of Kid Icarus for the Nintendo Entertainment System. This has been part two. Stay tuned for part three on JTML and I681's LPs. Hope you all enjoyed it. I'll see you all next time.